Welcome to Routine Grooming Steps for Lhasa Apso, brought to you by www.trainpetdog.com. Beautiful, courageous, and ancient, the Lhasa Apso is a very old breed that can be traced back to ancient Tibet, where they were used as temple dogs. The breed was so cherished that the Lhasa Apso was only given as gifts from the Dalai Lama. The Lhasa Apso is well known for their intelligence and courageous spirit, but the most known trait of this small companion breed is their long flowing coat that often reaches the ground. But that coat can be quite different when you are looking at a puppy and an adult. The Lhasa Apso puppy has a coat that is soft and dense. It is a low shedding coat that is usually very fluffy in appearance. As an adult, the Lhasa Apso has a longer coat that often grows to reach the ground. The coat has a part directly down the middle of the back and the hair lays straight down the sides of the dog. The Lhasa's coat is usually very dense and has a hard texture to it when the dog reaches adulthood. Because of these different coat types, there are some differences in grooming, with the short puppy coat being much easier to maintain. Both of the coat types are low shedding. Before you begin grooming your Lhasa Apso, it is important to have the right tools. While it may seem like a brush is a brush, the Lhasa Apso needs a range of items to keep the coat looking its best. In addition, it is very important to have nail clippers, a toothbrush, and cotton balls to clean the ears. For your Lhasa's coat, you will want to have a slicker brush to comb through the undercoat, a pin brush for finishing the coat, a wide tooth comb, metal being the best choice for the Lhasa Apso, to remove mats, and a finishing comb for the face and top knot. In addition, have scissors available to tidy the hair around the ears, feet, and tail and also have high quality shampoos and conditioners available. Grooming step number one, bathing. All good grooming habits begin with bathing and the Lhasa Apso should receive two baths per month at the minimum. This will keep the coat shiny and healthy and will help you in managing your dog's grooming. Before you bathe your Lhasa, start by brushing out the coat. Make sure you remove any mats that may be in the coat. After your dog has been bathed, blow dry him completely and then brush the coat again. Do not brush the coat when it is wet since this can damage your Lhasa Apso's coat. Grooming step number two. Start with a comb before moving to the brushes. Brushing will be a major part of grooming your Lhasa and it is important to brush your dog properly and to use the right combs and brushes. Before you start anything, work out the mats that are in your dog's coat. Start by separating the mats with your fingers and then use the wide tooth comb to work out the remaining parts of the mat. Be gentle with this and be sure to give your dog plenty of praise so your Lhasa Apso sees grooming as a positive experience. Once the mats are removed, Brush out the undercoat with a slicker brush, working in sections on your dog, starting at the bottom and working your way up. Finish up the main part of the coat with the pin brush and then use a finishing comb on the face and top knot. Grooming step number three, use dog products on the coat. Although most of the products and tools you will use are designed for dogs, it can be tempting, especially on such a long and flowing coat, to use human products and tools. You should avoid doing this simply because these products can damage your Lhasa Apso's coat. Make sure that you always use a high quality dog shampoo with a proper pH balance for dogs. This will ensure that essential oils are not stripped from your Lhasa's coat when he is bathed. In addition, Start every grooming session by spraying on a leave-in conditioner. This will keep the coat from breaking when you are brushing your Lhasa Apso. Lastly, try to purchase anti-static dog brushes and combs to prevent flyaways and static cling in your Lhasa Apso's coat. Grooming step number four, 
Creating the perfect top knot. One of the key grooming areas of the Lhasa Apso is their top knot. Let's face it, the top knot is definitely a trademarked look for the breed, but unfortunately, it is commonly done incorrectly. Of course, it doesn't have to be, and a top knot can be done in three easy steps. One, make sure you use a comb to create a top knot and start by gathering the hair at the outer corners of the eyes. Work up towards the crown, gathering all of the hair that hangs over the eyes. Two, back comb all of the hair so it becomes fuller and has more volume. Make sure you never over back comb and avoid tangling the hair. Three, secure the hair that you have gathered about one or two inches above the eye. You can clip it into place with a rubber band or a specially designed barrette. Grooming step number five, clipping. Although all of the tips above can be used on a short coat as well, many Lhasa Apso owners opt to clip the coat to make grooming even easier. A clipped coat looks very similar to the coat of a Lhasa Apso puppy, and it is often referred to as a puppy cut. If you plan on showing your Lhasa Apso in the show ring, never clip his coat. If not, make sure you clip the coat every six to eight weeks to keep it at a manageable length. It is important that you never neglect your Lhasa Apso's coat simply because he has it clipped, since this can lead to mats and skin problems. It is important to note that the coat of the Lhasa Apso goes through a transition from the puppy coat to the adult coat when the puppy is between the ages of 9 to 14 months of age. During this time, the usually low shedding Lhasa Apso becomes a fairly heavy shedder and this means more hair in your house. It also means that there is more potential for the coat to mat and for other problems to occur. It is very important for you to care for your Lhasa's coat properly during this time for two reasons. One, it will ensure that your Lhasa Apso has a beautiful and healthy coat throughout his life. And two, your Lhasa Apso will become accustomed to grooming, and this will make grooming a more pleasing experience for both you and your dog. Thank you for watching 5 Routine Grooming Steps for a Lhasa Apso. For more tips on Lhasa Apsos and training your Lhasa Apso, visit www.trainpetdog.com.